Yo, what is everyone, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to fake a 360 effect in Final Cut Pro 10. So this is what the final edit looks like right here. You create this really cool 360 effect without even having a 360 camera. So basically that's it. I'm going to go over how to create this really cool fake 360 um, camera effect. Now don't worry, there's nothing in here that costs any money. You will have to actually download a plugin, but that plugin is completely free. So let's head over here to the example right here. I'm going to kind of go over step by step how to create this effect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just blade the clip um, right here. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go ahead and change the scale to 70% right here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and change the position to negative 430 right here. And then I'm going to go right here to negative 240 right there. So there you go. That's the position of the first clip um, right there. Now I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and create a copy of that clip right here. And I'm going to go ahead, head over to the effects panel, click on all right here, and I'm going to type in a flipped effect right here. So you can see right there, you have created a flip effect right here. Now on this top clip right here, I'm going to go ahead and just type in 430. So as you can see right here, this bottom clip is at negative 430, and then this top clip is at 400. Um, and 30 right there. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and head over to mask right here and I'm going to go ahead and apply a shape mask onto the top clip right here. I'm going to go ahead and expand the shape mask um, right here. As you can see right here you don't want the person's hand being cut off so I'm going to move the shape mask right there so as you can see nothing of Gronkowski's arms are being cut off right there. So that's pretty much how you create, that's pretty much how you create um, the bottom effect uh, right there. Now what you want to do next is go to this middle clip right here, this top clip, and you want to create a third copy right there. Now what you want to do is you want to just get rid of the shape mask on the third copy right here. You want to change the rotation to 180 right there. And then we're going to do is we're going to change the X axis to zero right here. And we're going to change the Y axis um, to 1300. Um, an 86 right there. So as you can see right here, so I'll, I'll get rid of that first. I'm going to go ahead first actually change the scale to 300% right there. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'll just move it up um, right here. So as you can see right here, you want to just adjust it so there's no black space um, right there. So I'll just uh, 1390 um, right there. So that's pretty much it right there. Now the next thing you want to do is you want to go to a shape mask right here, apply another shape mask onto the top clip right here, and you're going to take the shape mask and you're basically, what you're just doing with the shape mask is you're basically just kind of blending um, in the clips um, right there. Maybe we could try and adjust the transform maybe just a little bit more um, until you get the desired look, and you're just kind of using the shape mask to kind of um, blend in the two clips um, right there. So I'll go ahead and go transform, and there you go. This is what the edit looks like right here. This is basically what the final edit looks like right here. So I'll go ahead and play it right here. And without the the plugin, you're not. You basically this is like this is as far as you're gonna get um, without the plugin right here. So I'll go ahead and play it right here, and there you go. This is what the edit looks like right here. Now the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to this clip right here. And you're gonna go ahead and go to an adjustment layer right here. Actually, I'll go ahead and just put a medium adjustment layer right there. So you're just putting an adjustment layer over the clips right here. Now you could, if you want to, add a compound clip. I'm gonna create a compound clip. I'm just gonna do an adjustment layer because I find that compound clips sometimes slow down um, the program. So what I do is go over here, and we're gonna go ahead and head over here to the polar effect right here. So we'll apply the polar effect. And as you can see right there, there you go, you created the effect. I'll put the link to the, I'll put the download link in the description below um, to that plugin right there. Now as you can see right here, it looks okay, but there's one small problem um, with this effect that I couldn't really figure out how to solve until I came up with this really cool idea. But as you can see right here, there you go, it looks pretty cool. Go ahead and disable it right here, and that's what the final edit looks like right here. But 
if you notice there's one small problem as you can see right here here's a black space right here and here is a black space um, right there okay so how in the world do you fix it I pretty much tried everything under the Sun to try to fix this um, inside all these clips but what I found was you want to go to all you want to type in um, fish eye right here apply a fish eye to the adjustment layer right there and then change the amount to four right here so as you can see the black edges are fixed right here no black edges black edges no black edges as you can see the fish eye so here's the black edges and the fish eye fixes um, the black edges effect right here so that's pretty much it that's how you cr basically create or fake this really cool 360 um, look right here so there you go it's as simple as, as as simple as that right here so it's a really really cool effect I'll go ahead here head over to the example right here I'll go ahead and disable the fisheye right here so I'll go ahead head to the middle clip right here as you can see here is the middle clip right here position is negative 430 Y is negative 240 scale is at 70% that's all you want to do for that clip right here now to go to this clip right here you're gonna add a flip effect you're gonna add a shape mask right here to blend in the two clips you're gonna change the position to 430 to negative 240 scale 70 remember this x-axis has to be the opposite value of this one so if that's negative 430 this one has to be 430 go to this clip right here still has as a flip effect add a shape mask to blend the two clips uh, scale is at 300% and the position is about one about 1400 and the rotation important is at 180 right there you have to have the position or the rotation at 180 right here and then all you're doing is you're going to add an adjustment layer right here and on the adjustment layer you're adding the polar effect right here and you're also adding the fisheye effect right here to get rid of the black spaces right here and you're going to go ahead and change the amount to four right here and that's basically it that's how you create this really really cool fake um, 360 effect right here I definitely think it's a really really cool effect so I'll go ahead and just get rid of the example right here so I'll go ahead and play it one more time and hopefully you really um, like this effect definitely make sure you to download the polar plugin um, in the description below it's completely free and it doesn't cost you any money so this entire effect is completely free you do not have to spend any money on a 360 camera you can fake it entirely digitally which I think is a really really cool effect um, so anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video, hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you enjoy these types of videos, consider hitting that subscribe button. Also the Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 160 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. See you in the next one. Peace.